Mule Deer Foundation presents Trigger Effect, an outdoor life documentary series. way of life that brought him to this land. This is Trigger Effect. Trigger Effect is brought to you by Mule Deer Foundation, ensuring the conservation of mule deer, black-tailed deer, and their habitat. Nikon Optics, next generation, now. Schmeiser Archery, the next step in technical evolution. West Side Stores, providing quality products and service to salmon arm for over 20 years. Sasquatch Fabrication, specialized fabricating for hunters everywhere. And these fine sponsors. We're here at mile zero at uh, Dawson Creek of the Alaska Highway. We ended up driving 1,700 kilometers yesterday, made it here last night kind of late. Got up this morning, had a good breakfast. We're just gonna head into Fort St. John, meet up with Dean and Gary, and then we're off to Atlin to fly in for a moose hunt. So stay tuned, Trigger Effect will be right back. Okay, we've been traveling up the Alaska Highway here all day. Road signs everywhere saying watch out for bison. Like the one behind me here says bison for the next 90 kilometers. I really hope we see one. Who knows? Well, we've been driving basically for three days. Uh, last I saw, I think we're at about 2,400 kilometers. We're on the last leg. We're just about uh, four hours out of Atlin. Uh, we met up with uh, Kent and Trent in Fort St. John and we stayed last night in Watson Lake beautiful up here it's it's amazing the difference down back home it's still green as you can see up here we got all the fall colors leaves starting to come off the trees it should be perfect timing for a great moose hunt closed captioning for trigger effect provided by regent custom cresting and framing for all your promotional goods embroidery and screen printing needs visit us today at www.regentcc.ca Well, it is about quarter to seven in the morning. We're all packed up. Where's Dean? Here's Dean. <laughs> I'm half asleep still. Cameraman back there. Coffee. Coffeeed up. Got a low ceiling this morning, but uh, we're hoping to fly out in about an hour and a half. Head into Moose Camp. Yeah. Four guys. Hi. Well, Chris just put the last little bit of fuel in the beaver. Dean and I are flying in with the first load. Uh, our cameraman asked us if we wanted to say anything, and Chris just said to say goodbye. So, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> See you in Moose Camp. All the boys are gone with the first load into the lake and I'm just kind of standing around here waiting for an hour, hour and a half and uh, we'll get the rest of our gear in. I think they got most of the grubs so they can survive even if the plane doesn't come back. But they don't have the gasoline for the motor to go hunting so I'm still in control of this situation. So we're in Atlin waiting for the plane. This gentleman uh, came over and said there's uh, one fewer moose for us to be chasing and uh, and this is it, and what a beauty. While Dean and Kent have made it to moose camp safe and sound, now it's Gary and Trent's turn to fly in and start an amazing 10-day moose hunt. 
Make sure you come right back. You're not going to want to miss this two-part episode of Trigger Effect. To learn more about Trigger Effect, go to our website at www.triggereffect.tv or check us out on Facebook or Twitter. West Side Stores in beautiful downtown Salmon Arm, providing fishing and hunting equipment, apparel, and knowledgeable staff. Your outdoor sports authority, West Side Stores, has provided quality products and service to Salmon Arm for over 20 years. Visit us today at 450-360 TransCanada Highway Southwest, Salmon Arm, BC. Online at westsidestores.ca or call us at 250-832-8141. Welcome back to Trigger Effect. Hi folks, welcome to another exciting episode of Trigger Effect. This week, the guys and I, we've traveled in Northern British Columbia where I spent most of my guiding career and we're going to be going after great big northern BC moose. And I know you and your dad were here about a month ago and, uh, and tidied up camp, uh, built a few new features and the place looks so comfortable, it's gonna be really enjoyable to hunt up here. Yeah, you bet. Yeah, I have to admit, I mean, after the long drive to get up here, I'm really excited about this hunt. We're gonna be starting off this two uh, episode series with me hunting my moose with my 300 wind sharp mag, top of the Nikon scope, using their new spot on technology. It takes all the shot placement guessing out of the question, but uh, I don't wanna sit around this camper. I wanna get out there and get hunting, guys. Let's do it. Let's go, let's go. Okay, so here's the deal. All we need is three bull moose over 65 inches, wide pads, 30 points a side, and Mr. Mickey tells us that they're right here in this lake. All we have to do is live long enough to find them. With the light disappearing, the boys hike back to the main lake and enjoy their boat ride back to camp. So it's the first morning of our moose hunt here. We're having our morning coffee and Gary went outside and immediately heard a bull right across the lake. So when we went out to check it out, we also heard a cow there and Kent was saying that she's really aggravated. So what we're doing right now is we're just slowly making our way around to get the wind in our favor. If everything pans out, it's great. But if not, we saw lots of moose last night. We have another back bay here that's got a cow and a bull in it. That's a really good bull, especially for archery. And uh, I don't know, 
thumbs up. Hopefully everything goes well. Well, despite the boy's best efforts, they could not convince the bull to leave his cow. Well, back to the lake and back to the drawing board. Make sure you come back and see what the boys have planned out next. It wasn't a big recovery. You know, pretty devastating broadhead. Tell you what, they put the game down. Through the stag, into the tree. Schmeiser Archery. The Schmeiser Broadhead combines physics of the Falcon Principle and the Axe Principle for state-of-the-art aerodynamics and cutting technology. Visit us today at schmeiser-archery.com. Schmeiser Archery, the new generation of technical evolution. Welcome back to Trigger Effect. This guide tip is brought to you by Lone Wolf Taxidermy, bringing life back to your trophy. What I like to do when I'm moose hunting, especially up north here where there's, uh, we've got a trail that goes from our main lake to the north lake that I cut out years ago. The moose have been using it a lot. And we've got a bull here that's built a wallow right here. And what I'd like to do is throw a handful of leaves in there and that way when he comes back and paws at the wallow again, we know that he's been here. Also, I'll put up a trail camera. And set up a trail camera on one of these trees over here. We'll catch pictures of any moose coming through. We're gonna be here for another 10 days, so it means we'll see what's traveling between these lakes, so. Well, Dean, I can see that we've had something at the wallow here. Something's been pawing at the, at the wallow, so most likely the bull is back. We've got the trail camera set up. I think we'll uh, pull that cart and look at it when we go back for lunch. Yeah. After seeing a cow calf, the boys decide to try the one last bay before dark.
So here's the scenario. Kent is trying to get the boat on shore and upwind of the bull. Dean is trying quickly to get his trigger release on and grab his bow. Meanwhile, this Titan bull is swimming directly towards them. At the last minute, the bull decides to turn and come ashore downwind of the boys. Dean considers the size of the bull and quickly grabs his rifle topped with his Nikon scope. find more information about Trigger Effect, go to www.triggereffect.tv and don't forget to go on Facebook to get frequent updates and Twitter to get daily updates. Gary, we want something with strong, lightweight, collapsible and durable. And with this wheel and the no axle on our game carts, we've achieved that. Built in Caramius, BC, the Sasquatch cart is lightweight, has great clearance and is strong enough to pack out a variety of the game species. It collapses to be more convenient for transport you can be attached to ATVs for those long packs out. Get yours at Sasquatch Fabrications in Karameas. Call 250-499-5984 or visit us online at www.sasquatchfabrications.com. Trigger Effect proudly supports the Mule Deer Foundation. Through its membership, the Mule Deer Foundation aims to restore, improve, and protect mule deer habitat. MDF supports wildlife management, promotes public education and research, and encourages responsible, ethical behavior. Visit us online at www.muledeer.org and join today and help us ensure the conservation of mule deer, black tailed deer, and their habitat. Welcome back to Trigger Effect. Can't see him, can't I? Lost him. Okay, he's just to the right, just to the right of those willows. 258 Kate, Kate, yards. Got him now, got him. Give him another one. They oh. are revved up with the rut right now. Oh, Boy, I tell you what, he come out. We just come boating in the bay. I was on the other side here calling. And we didn't hear him respond at all. He didn't, didn't make any sound. So we come in on the other side of this finger. <laughs> Going down, and Gary says, There's a bull right there. And it was the one we were messing around with the other night. And uh, he was already revved up enough to come to the cow calls that I was doing on the other side of this point. He didn't even mind the boat, so we had to get to shore quickly. But unfortunately, he got downwind of us. So as soon as he got to this shoreline, smelt us, he knew the gig was up. So the yeah. old Nikon put her. Put it right in where you wanted it, that's for sure. Icon scope, yeah, it was a heck of a distance, can't range for me. Well, there you go, Dino. 2013. Swamp Donkey, Northern BC. Yeah, this, what an amazing experience. I mean, it's, it's really hard to explain you know, just seeing these big bulls. I mean, this guy here saw us, came right in the water right after us. 
Saw us in the boat. And saw us in the boat, yeah, and then came after us thinking that we're a cow. And at the last minute he turned and came across, so I, uh, I decided to test out my Nikon scope and it was a 250 yard shot. And uh, this, this bull's really special to me. Um, as Kent and Gary know, I lost my father a few months ago. Uh, this is my first uh, season. And so I'd really like to, to dedicate this bull to my dad. Um, I'd like to thank both you guys for being here, you know, with me on this. Um, this bull will always have extra meaning to me. Um, dad, <laughs> this one's for you. Good job, Dean. Congratulations. That's a heck of a bull. You bet. That's Lots beauty. of points. You're going to score really well. Way to go, buddy. Thanks. Thanks, Bigfoot. You bet. So we're all packed up. We got that whole moose in the raft. We left a couple of guys over on the other side. They're going to call and try to get one with a bow and arrow. And we're going to head back to camp and drop these ones off. Ninety even. Ninety. Yeah. That's what you said. Yep. Yeah. Right on the money. <laughs> oh, don't give him that much credit. He said one eighty. No, he said one ninety. Yeah. Out there in the field, I said that's a one ninety ball. Oh, okay. I said it yeah. takes one ninety five to make Boone Crockett, and it's going to be just right there. <laughs> Pope, Pope and Young is one thirty five. Yeah, that would minimum. Filled. So a 190 bull like that with a bow scores way in the book. Good job, Dino. 190 yeah, bull. 190 bull. Let me tell you yeah. what. So that was exciting. I, you know, I can't believe that that bull got past us. He was only 100 yards away, and we, we drove the boat right by him, and he was actually behind the boat by the time we saw him. Yeah, well, Gary picked him out. He says, there's a bull. Next thing you know, the bull comes crashing in the water. He swims right behind the boat, ends up getting all the way across the channel, and is going to come out right beside us. I mean, it was right there. It was incredible. Yeah, I, I, once he sent it us, it went from a short shot to a long shot. And, you know, you range find it perfectly. We put that bull down. What an exciting hunt. I mean, these northern BC moose are just revved up, ready to go. But it's not over yet. This is just one episode of two. Join us next week for another exciting episode to see if the boys can connect with another big northern BC moose. Don't forget to join us next week to see if Kent or Gary can seal the deal on another British Columbia Titan. Trigger Effect is brought to you by the Mule Deer Foundation, Nikon Optics, Schmeiser Archery, Westside Stores, Sasquatch Fabrications, and these fine sponsors. We just went through a game check stop in the Yukon. Everything is good, so stay Hi, tuned. I'm We're going to be right back. I'm an alcoholic.